quick, throws great combinations, and he says he's going to have his gloves up better this time, but it's Prescott who lands with a nice jab early on, nice right hand again, and a fast left two from Andy Akkad, who's got this new trainer, Hulk, and he's hurt, and he's shot, and he's shot, and he's shot. and 19 wins but you can see as soon as the fight started Prescott knew what he was doing it Conor is coming forward landing with solid jabs first and then the finishing punches disaster for Amir Khan let's just hope he is okay the first punch that caused the trouble was one to the temple that's befuddled him before and there was really no way back I think from then on Prescott was as good as his word he was a heavy hitter we did wonder with a guy who's been on the floor as he was against Willie Lim and Michael Gomez, why do you hire a man with a knockout record like that from Colombia for him? But it was a test he had to pass. He couldn't pass it. I mean, you can see the look of Prescott. He knew exactly what he was doing. His body weight was on his front foot. His chin was down. He was trading punches. He landed a beautiful jab straight through Khan's guard. Probably that's it now, straight through, and you can see that had an effect on Khan's legs. The Khan always eager to please, sometimes too eager to please. But Prescott has the look of a man here who knows exactly what he's doing, and that was as soon as he landed cleanly. And I think the fight was over at this point. When he, when he got back on his feet at the count of eight, he was still all over the place. I think uh, the referee could have stepped in here and called it off. But because of the pressure, obviously, and he is a rising star, he gave him his chance. But one more shot. And it was over. It's a very, very sad sight. This was the first knockdown. A huge right and then a left hook. Great punches from the Colombian. Now this but is a heavy, heavy knockdown, Ian. That is a heavy, heavy knockdown. You have to be thinking serious at this point on. Will he recover from this? Didn't look like it to me. Bang! These are solid. Look how powerful these shots, the way he's turning the hip, the shoulder, everything behind those shots. Again, a man who's used to finishing opponents. Is there any way back for Khan from a, a defeat as damaging and stunning and in, as emphatic as that, Jim? Well, the popularity the young man has, but obviously they have to go back to the drawing board. But let's face it, the big question was, can he take world-class punches if he can't? then there's not a future, but you can't, you, you, you can't put that on a young man of 21 at this stage of his career. He's going to have to come back for that, it's going to have to be addressed. But you can see, it was all over, the way he crumbled to the floor here is alarming. Well, the road from amateur stardom to a professional world championship really is a boulevard of broken dreams. And I'm afraid to say it, Khan's dream has been broken tonight. That is a bad knockout. Goodness me, uh, Terry O'Connor gave him every chance, but there really was no, no way back at all. There will be inquests as well about this. There are bound to be inquests. What a sensational, stunning story here in Manchester tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, at 54 seconds of round one, Amir Khan has failed to beat the referee's count. The winner and the new WBO Intercontinental Light.
lightweight champion, Bradis Prescott. Who might be a name to watch with punch power like that. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a round of applause. He will be back. Amir Khan! Well, we hope so, and if he does come back from that, it will be some recovery. Thank goodness he's all right, but the dust still hasn't settled from what you've just witnessed in that ring. 54 seconds is all it took. A calamity for Amir Khan. There's another chance to see the fight in our final judgment program. Amir Khan against Bradis Prescott, Thursday, 7 o'clock on Sky Sports 2. Following that, our exciting heavyweight competition, Prize Fighter, returns on Friday. We're live from Newcastle's Metro Radio Arena. 8 o'clock, Sky Sports 1. 8 heavyweights, 1 cash prize. That's what we've got time for as Amir Khan's world title dreams.